Hi everyone, Vintage Purse Gal here and welcome to our inaugural episode of the Vintage Purse Gallery channel. Today we're going to be talking about owl themed handbags because owls are a very popular modern motif as well as one that was popular in the late 60s early 70s. Right here we have our first example of a late uh, of a late 60s early 70s bag. It's by uh, as you can see here Bags by TJ in Florence, Alabama. And what's unusual about this one is it looks as if it was never used. It does have some wear and tear probably from storage. Um, it's vinyl or faux leather, as I like to call it. And it has uh, the original price tag from Belts Shoes. Or is that Pelt Shoes? Help me out here, people. Read this for me. It was originally the discounted price of $24.99 which seems rather expensive for uh, 1970s prices. And some of you who perhaps grew up in that era may remember this type of really cute little flowery fabric. Uh, it's got the front pocket, which has um, this adorable kind of whimsical owl motif. And on the back, there's a little yellow butterfly, I believe it is. And one thing I've noticed about these TJ bags and we have a couple of these in our collection with a different motif, is uh, that they, they do have kind of their trademark butterfly on the back. Next, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous large size bag. And we'll try to get this all in the frame here. Um, it's made by Faye Mel. And I'll show you the tag. Uh, Faye Mel Designs, Florette Inc., Miami, Florida. And Faye Mel was a fairly popular designer. Her bags are, are much in demand now because of, of their unique style, very classic sort of design. And um, again, we have the owl, which was really beautifully done. Uh, it's uh, got a lot of stuff on it. It's uh, got needlework and you can see the leaves are done with the uh, um, green embroidery thread or, or rather it's, I guess, you know, I'm not a needlework expert. I'm just a purse expert here, but uh, it, it's yarn, I suppose, rather than thread. The owl is, is puffed out a little to give it a 3D effect. And the bag itself is a woven fabric, very well made. It's definitely withstood the test of time. And we have quite a few female bags in our collection. Uh, again, we're only featuring owls today, but you'll get to see a lot more as we produce more episodes of the Vintage Purse Gallery channel. Next, one of my favorite purses. Well, they're all my favorite, but this one is so different. This is a, a 1960s, early 1960s, possibly 50s, but I'm, I have a lot of uh, these plastic coated bags in my collection, some of which are from the 50s. Uh, I do have some uh, ephemera in my collection, including uh, pictures, photographs of women carrying these plastic purses. So by the way they're dressed, they look like they're dressed in late 50s, early 60s attire. But because it's an owl, or rather a mama owl and her two babies, I believe this to be maybe mid to late 60s. Again, it's this plastic sort of covering. And a lot of these didn't fare well over time because they got stained or um, dusty. Um, this one is really, really cute. It's got, again, the 3D effect with kind of these, um, gosh, what is that? <laughs> it's like a puffy fabric with um, gold to accent the, the owl's uh, beak and ears. Um, the eyes are the kind of googly eyes and then, of course, it looks like they're sitting on a wooden uh, fence with a tree behind them. Really super cute bag. And it's a nice large size. I have really small hands, but it is a big size. And there's the inside of it. Here we have an Enid Collins bag. Now, some of you may be Enid Collins fans. Uh, Collins is quite desirable to collect. Um, this one is a bucket or tote bag, and it's called Night Owl. Uh, most of her bags were named. It's also got the EC logo. Uh, Collins was a Texas designer. You can read much more about her. There is a website devoted to uh, Ina Collins' history. And there were several incarnations of the Collins uh, uh, legacy. 
which you can read about online. And I'll also provide some other information. Uh, here we have the um, owl again. This one is quite striking in that it's bejeweled and bedazzled. And it's got sequins and these, these large size faux gems on it. It's really quite astonishing. And it's in fairly good shape, not perfect, but since these bags are so collectible, it, it often doesn't matter to the discerning collector. Now that said, there are a lot of people that will only buy these types of bags in perfect condition. I also wanted to show you um, a kit purse from the same era. Now, I know quite a lot about these kit purses. I have many, many kit purses in my collection. Um, you can even read a, uh, an article that I wrote about kit purses on my website, vintagepursegallery.com. And these are general crafts kit purses, and they were made to mimic the Collins style. Now, oftentimes you'll see on um, online sites, uh, uh, online auction sites, uh, they'll call these Collins purses, but they're not. You can tell because there's no um, there's no logo, there's no name of the bag. They're Collins-like in that they were produced in the Collins style. Basically, they came as a kit with a bare purse and all the stuff you needed to glue onto them. And they're really quite fun. I do have more owl purses, but I'm just going to show you um, those few and this one. And this one is really special. When I carry this one, I would say that of all my vintage purses, this one probably gets the most feedback. People are really, really intrigued by it. Um, this is a, a JR Florida, I believe. Kind of hard to read the label. JR Florida had several marks, um, JR USA, JR Florida, um, and it was for Julius Resnick, who was a, a purse designer for quite a long time, and uh, had the company was in existence for quite a long time, and I'll also give you some more information on that. Um, oh, there's like a loose thread in here. Well, we'll pretend that's not there. Um, these are made of felt, and they have sequins and a few little gemstones. A couple are missing, but I'm not as into perfection as are some collectors, especially when I want to use them, because I want them to be uh, carryable and I don't want to freak out if I lose a bead. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of cool with them not being in perfect condition. It's a shoulder bag. It's got a shoulder strap. The fabric is this kind of woven, uh, gosh, I don't even know what to call it. Again, not much of a seamstress. I need, um, my husband to sew buttons on clothes for me because he's nice and because I can't do it. Um, but this woven type fabric is very typical of JR purses. And that, my friends, is the inaugural episode of the Vintage Purse Gallery channel. And I hope you stay tuned for many, many more to come.